Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. I'm here with another tutorial. Yay! So, I'm hoping nobody's going to take offense to this tutorial. But, um, in, considering what's going on in the world right now with this COVID-19, um, I thought, you know, we're all quarantined, and or not quarantined, we're... Um, self-isolating so why not um, do something fun and also I went through my yarn stash and I found this yarn and I didn't know whether to laugh or cry <laughs> but I decided to laugh and um, I decided to use it for something good Okay, uh, this is from King Cole, and it's called Corona Chunky. And I, with all the ugliness that's going on right now, I wanted to take this yarn specifically and make it into something beautiful. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this around, and we're going to um, make it a little more lighthearted, I hope. I guess you would say. So, um, yeah, so if you would like to make this beautiful vest with me, come join me. And you don't have to use this specific yarn um, because I got this from Lovecraft, I believe. And right now, I don't think Lovecraft is shipping any yarns out. So, this is a chunky yarn. It's about a uh, five to six weight um, so you can use any yarn that is that weight now <clears throat> can you see that okay it's a hundred percent premium acrylic it's 170 yards 156 meters and uh, it's oh there it is the shade is carmine now I am going to be using a 6.5 millimeter hook with this. Okay. Now I'm going to be using a magic circle, but you don't have to. You can do it the normal way of the chain up um, three or four or whatever. But I find the magic circle is just easy for me. Uh, so I wrap it around my finger twice, I put my hook right through both, and then I pull that back loop, or that back string in to the front. Okay, and then I put it back under, and I chain, oops, chain three. Okay. <clears throat> Now, like I said, you don't have to do the magic circle, and you don't have to do it the way I do it. You can do it however you want um, to get your circle. Okay, so now we're going to do clusters of three double crochets. All right, so this is just your basic granny, granny stitch. Okay, so here we go. This oh, and this one already counts as your for your first chain. So we're gonna do one double crochet and two double crochet. So now you've got three double crochets. Okay, that's your first cluster. You're gonna chain two, and then you're gonna do another cluster. You're going to do one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Okay, now you have two clusters. You're going to chain two, you're going to do one double crochet, Two double crochet, 
and oops, and three double crochet. Now you've got three clusters. You're going to do this one more time. Two double crochet or two chains, and then one double crochet, and try and keep your hook in there. <laughs> Two double crochet and three double crochet. Okay, now you have four clusters. That's what you want. You're going to chain two and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain. Okay, now you've got one, two, three, four clusters. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go in between and see you've got your first cluster right here. You've got one, two, three double crochets. What you're going to do is you're going to go in right in here into this first um, chain and you're going to slip stitch. Okay, then you're going to go over to this corner and you're going to slip stitch again. Okay, so that, that brings you into this corner. That's where you want to start your next row. Okay, you're going to chain up three. Okay, there. See that? Okay, now you're going to start your second row. Now in the corner here, you, you want to keep that corner the way it is. Okay, so you're going to do one double crochet. So you've got two double crochets there because your first one counts as your first double crochet. And then you're going to do another double crochet. And there's your first cluster. You're going to chain two and do another cluster in this same hole here. I'm going to go one double crochet. I'm going to go back in this hole and do two double crochets, yarn over, go back in that hole and do three double crochets. Okay, so there you've made your corner. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in that same hole. All right, now you're going to chain one, And now you're going to go to this next corner over here. Okay, you're going to skip these three double crochets and go right into that corner. You're going to do one double crochet in that corner. Okay, now you're going to do another double crochet in that corner. Remember, you're doing clusters of three. And then you're going to do another double crochet in that corner. There's your first cluster. Chain two, oops, chain two, and do another cluster in that same hole. One double crochet. Two double crochet and three double crochet. Okay, there's your next corner. So we got one corner, two corner. Now we're going to work on our third corner. Skip these three double crochet. Oh, wait, chain one. Skip these three double crochet, go into this corner here. 
do a double crochet. Then do another double crochet. And do your third double crochet all in the same corner. Okay. Chain two. Now you're going to go back into that same corner and do three more double crochets. One double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. There you go. There's your third corner. One, two, and three. Now you're going to work on your last corner, which is right here. Okay. Chain one. Skip these three double crochets and go into this corner. Do your one double crochet, two double crochet. Three double crochet. There's your first cluster. Chain two. Go back into this hole and do three more double crochet. One, two, and three. There's your fourth corner. Chain one and slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. And there's your core, there's your square. Okay, now we're going to go into that first um, stitch. You're going to go in here and slip stitch and then you're going to go into the corner and slip stitch. Remember? That's how we did it the last time. So you're going to go into this stitch and slip stitch. And then you're going to go into the corner and slip stitch. Okay? You, know, you always want to be working in a corner when you're you're starting out your uh, your row just makes it easier to uh, instead of turning and f flipping and turning your thing and doing the front side and back side it's easier to just go into the corner so that you um, can start your next row okay so now we're going to do the same thing again chain up three there we're going to do your set of three um, cl er, cluster in that corner. So now you've got two stitches. Remember your first stitch counts as your first um, double crochet. And you're going to do another double crochet in that corner. Now you've got your cl first cluster. Chain two go back in that hole and do your next three double crochets. Okay, so there's your corner. Okay, now if you notice there's an extra hole here, right? We're going to go into that one. Okay, chain one. Now we're going to go into that next hole and we're going to do a cluster of three. Do one double crochet, do two double crochets into the same hole, and do three double crochets. 
Okay. There you go. Now we're going to do another corner over here. So you chain one and then you do a double crochet in that corner. Okay. Do another double crochet in that corner. And do another double crochet in that corner. There's your first cluster. Chain two. We're going to finish off this corner by doing a cluster of three. Oops, I think I did that wrong. Let's try that again. Try and look into the camera while I'm doing this. It's not working. <laughs> Remember, you're doing three double crochets. next corner. Chain one. Okay, there's that extra extra hole and here's your other corner. So you're going to do three double crochets in there. Okay, do your cluster. A three. Okay. Now you're going to make another corner. So chain one. Do your three double crochets in. Do your three double crochets in that corner. Chain two. Okay. Go back in to that corner. Do another three double crochets. There's your next corner. See how that's turning out? See? Corner. And one cluster corner, one cluster, corner. And we're going to keep going. <coughs> Chain one. Here's your next one. And do your double crochet. Your next double crochet. And your third double crochet. Here's your cluster. Chain one. Now we're going to do our last corner. It's right there. Do your three double crochets in that corner. Chain two. Do three more in that corner. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. There's your next corner. Chain one. And we've got one more cluster left to do. One double crochet, two double crochet, and a three double crochet. Chain one. Now we're going to slip stitch the top of this double crochet. Okay. And then go into this next double crochet and slip stitch. And then go into your corner and slip stitch. Okay. Here is your square. Okay. 
and we're going to continue to keep doing this. As you keep doing your sides, you're going to end up increasing the amount of holes that you have in between your corners. Okay, so now you can see you've got two. Here's your corners. There's two extra holes. So we're just going to keep going and doing that. And that's how you keep growing your, your square. Okay, so we're going to chain up three. <clears throat> okay, so we're in our corner, so we have to make our double clusters. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Because remember that first one counts as your first double crochet. So there's your first cluster. Chain two and do three more in that corner. So one, two, three. Here's your corner. Chain one. Okay. Now here we go. Go into this first hole. Remember, skip all these. Go into, we're just working in these holes. That's all we're doing. And do your first cluster. So you're doing one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Chain one. Go into this next one. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Okay, now you've got two. Okay, now we're in the corner again. Chain one, and you're going to do your two clusters one, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. Three. Inner corner. Chain one. Gonna go into this next one. One. Two. And three. Chain one. Go into your next one. One, two, three. Okay, chain one. Now we're in the corner. One, two, three. Chain two. Go three more in there. One, two, and three. There's your other corner. And we got one more, two more. Chain one. Go into this next hole. One, two, three, chain one, go into this next one, one, two,
Go ahead. <laughs> Three. Chain one. Go into your corner. One. Two. Chain two, go back in, one, two, three, chain one, there's your corner, and here's our last section. Three, chain one, in our last one. One, two, three, chain one. Now slip stitch to the top of that next chain. And there you go. Okay. Now, you're going to continue doing this. The next row you're going to have three. So, you see, one, two, three. You're going to have three extra. The row after that, you're going to have four extra um, holes. And then five extra holes and six extra holes. Okay, so you're going to keep doing this pattern all the way until you get a square big enough that reaches from one hip to the other hip. So from one all the way across your chest to your other hip. Right? I'm going to put a, um, a graph in here that shows you the different sizes or the, the size amount for the small, medium, extra, large, large, or large, extra, large, and all that, okay? And you're going to keep continuing to go around and around and around until you get it wide enough to reach from one hip to the other, okay? So I will see you back when you, when I get to the size that I need. Okay. Hi everybody, I'm back. So I forgot to mention that you need to make two panels uh, exactly the same. Now I ran out of this yarn uh, so I had to use another yarn. So I used pre um, Bernat Premium and I did an extra four rows to make it my size. Now I'm a fluffy woman, or as George would like to say, love-sized. So I did mine about, it's about 22 inches each. So that's about 44 inches all together. So if, um, if you're making this for a woman, don't forget your bust size. Like I measured mine, instead of going hip to hip, um, I measured mine, because I'm busty, I measured mine from armpit to armpit across my breast. So uh, that's how I got that size. Okay, and so what you're going to do now, now that you've got your two panels, is you're going to measure it up to your shoulders. If it goes down as far as you need, um, so if you put these corners at your shoulders, this will go across your neckline, measure all the way down. If the bottom goes to the length that you want, then great. If it does not, then you can keep adding on the bottom and you just go back and forth with this same stitch. Okay. Um, for me, I think, I 
think it might be a little bit too short. So um, you can you can either do it on the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. So if you want if you're doing this two different colors, if you want the top of it at your neckline to be the white part, like or whatever color, uh, then do it on the top. If you want the bottom to have the band of different color on the bottom, do it on the bottom. If you're doing it all this color, don't worry about it. Just do it, add it on to the top or the bottom. Okay, so we're going to start at the corner here. And you can see, hopefully this isn't too blown out. Oops, sorry. Okay, you're going to see here's your corner. Right in here, where you would normally, if you kept going to go around and around, that's where you put your corner in. That's where we're going to start. Okay, so <clears throat> you're going to attach your yarn. Um, you're going to put your hook in there and put, attach your yarn onto that corner. Okay, and just there. Okay, so now your yarn is attached. You're going to chain up three and then you're going to do one cluster of three in that corner piece. So don't forget the first chain counts as your first um, double crochet. Might help if I have my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you're just gonna add two more to make it the three. Okay, then you're going to chain one and now you're going to do exactly the same thing that you did all across. All right, you're just going to do your three double crochets in each of these chain spaces. Okay, there's your three, chain one. Do the three in the next chain space and you're going to do this all the way across. Okay, there's your three, chain one. Okay, and so you're just going to do this all the way, this exactly the same as you have been and then when you get to the other corner I will show you how, what you do next. Okay, so I'm all the way down at the corner again. So all we're going to do is we're going to do our three double crochets in that corner. Okay, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Okay, now you're going to go all the way back again. Okay, you're going to go into this first one and do your three double cro crochet cluster. Or I guess it's a granny stitch really. Chain one. Okay, so this is the chain that you're going to be working into when you come back. Okay, and go into your next one, chain three, and you go all the way back again. Okay, chain one, three double crochets in the next. Okay, and you just keep going all the way to the other end. Okay, so I'm at the other end, and what you're going to notice is you've got your three double crochet cluster here. So all you're going to do is you're going to do a double crochet in this last stitch right here. OK, 
Okay, just going to do one double crochet. All right, then you're going to chain up three and turn your work. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Okay, now what you're going to do, this is this counts as your first double crochet. You're going to do two more double, oops, two more double crochets in this chain space to make your three cluster. Okay, there you go. Chain one, and you're going to go do your whole row again. Okay, just like you normally do. Three double crochets and chain one. Okay, we are at the other, oops, <laughs> if I can keep my hook in my hand, <laughs> we are at the other end, and this is what it should look like, and all you're going to do is your three double crochets in the corner. Like that, then chain up three and turn your work and go back the other side and back the other side until this whole piece is long enough um, for you from remember take both these corners from shoulder to shoulder and make sure that it's um, long enough from your collarbone right all the way down to see how long you need it okay and then when you're done, oh, don't forget to do that on both of your panels. Okay, you need to do it on this panel, too. Okay. So you've got this panel, too, that you've got to do however many you did on that side. Okay. All right. So once you're done that, then come on back and we will continue. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Okay, so hopefully by this time that you have done both your panels in the length that you need them to be. Now, putting them together is pretty easy. Uh, you can either, you know, stitch them up with a whip stitch or, or whatever. Um, I don't do that. I do it a different way. So you do you. You do how you feel you should do it. Um, but I'm going to show you another option. And I got this little trick from Krista of the Secret Yarnery. When she was doing her um, mile a minute blankets and she was stitching the pieces together. So I really, really liked that stitch because I liked how it looked. So I do that on all of the garments that I use, the um, granny stitch. So I am going to attempt to show you how I do that. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've put a stitch marker at the corners, at both the corners of the top of your garment. Okay, then I figured, I kind of guesstimated how far down I would need my next stitch mar marker for my armhole. Okay, so I kind of, yeah, just kind of guesstimated. And then I, now what I'm going to do is we need to figure out how big the, the hole is going to be for your head. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out how to do this so that you guys can really see this. <clears throat> Okay, so you've got your corner here, and what you're going to do is you're going to figure out where your collar, uh, where your um, collarbone is, and I figure you probably need one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight depending, maybe eight of these squares 
wide for your your neck but you're gonna you're gonna try it on anyway right before you start doing this so what I do what I like to do is I grab the the hole on this side and then I grab the hole on this side match it up and then I put a stitch marker in there okay and you're gonna do that all the way across until you figure the hole is going to be big enough for your head or for wherever you want it to sit on your neckline. And you can you can add more or take away um, stitch markers until you figure out how big you want it to be. Okay. And I, I just like to do this so that it all stays uniform and together. And then you, uh, you're you not going to get too lost. Okay, I put in one, two, three, four, five, six. I put in six on this side. So I'm going to put in six on the other side. And then try it on. And see, um, see if it's big enough. So that's how much room I've got for my head. So now I'm going to try it on because you've got your stitch markers for your armholes here. And now you've got your stitch markers across for your head. So now try it on and make sure that it's the right size. If it is, great. If it's not, you can just, like I say, you can take these out or put more in as you go to figure out how big you want it. Okay, so I figured out that I needed one more. Um, so I've got seven all together. Yours will probably might be different. Um, but and then I've got eight going down, like if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. It might be a little bit big, but it'll give me a little extra room. I may end up making it just seven so but uh, it gives me a guesstimate anyway so okay so now we're ready to stitch this up like I said you can whip stitch across here if you want to and then whip stitch all the way down if you want to or you can do it the way I do it Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my stitch marker here. I'm going to put my hook right through, put my, attach my yarn, pull it through, and do a slip stitch to attach the yarn onto your garment. Okay. And now we're going to oops take out the next stitch marker we're going to pick up one side of the garment the front side and we're going to put in three double crochets on this one side Okay, now you're going to pick up, like I said, this is going to be a little fiddly until you can get used to it. Make sure that your yarn is on the opposite side. Don't have it like this the way you normally would. Pull it onto this side. Okay, now on this side where you had your, you, you had your um, stitch marker in between both sides, on this one side you're going to go in and you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through and pull it through there. So now what you've done is you've attached 
your sides together. Now I know that sounds really confusing. It was for me too when I tried this, but believe me, it looks really nice when you're done. It doesn't look like you have a seam. Okay, so now you're gonna take out your ne next stitch marker. Okay. Okay, now you're going to yarn over, go on that one side, the front side again. You're going to go in and put in your three double crochets. Just in that front side, front panel. Okay. Pull it, <clears throat> grab your other side, the back side. Put, make sure your yarn is on the front. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, pull it through, and pull it through. Um, do a, a slip stitch. Okay. Now, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Now, if this is, if I'm really confusing you, I'm going to leave a link to. Uh, Krista's um, uh, mile a minute blanket and she shows you how to do it uh, probably better than me but I'm trying the best I can <laughs> okay so you took out your next stitch marker you're gonna drop the back side pick up your front side you're gonna do your three double crochets In that in that next hole or chain space I should say okay you're gonna pick up the back side not this one you are already done that one I'm gonna pick up this one I'm gonna put your hook in make sure that your yarns in the front put your hook in grab your yarn pull it up and slip stitch. Okay. There you go. Okay. Take out your next stitch marker. <clears throat> Yarn over. Drop your back piece. Yarn over. Go in your front piece, do your three double crochets. Pick up your back piece. You've already done that one. You're going to go into your next one. Put your hook in, make sure your yarn's in front. You're going to grab your yarn oops grab your yarn pull it up through and slip stitch okay take out your next stitch marker okay drop your back piece grab your front piece Yarn over, do your three double crochets. Okay, now grab your back piece. No. Okay, there's your hole. Put your yarn in front. Put your hook down in, in the hole, grab your yarn, pull it up, and slip stitch. Okay, now you've got one more. You need to take out your hook or a stitch marker. Okay, okay, there you go. 
and a yarn over. Now for this one, because there's no hole, okay, there's no hole on this, you're just going to go in that last stitch on both sides, okay, yarn over, go through both of them, and do your double crochet. No, you're not going to do a double crochet, you're going to do a slip stitch. <laughs> okay, pick up both of your sides and go in and slip stitch. Okay, now you're going to tie off. And there you go. Doesn't that look nice? Okay. All right. So now you're going to do your other side. Start at this side and go all the way down. You're going to do exactly the same thing. So now you're going to do your sides. Okay, now you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom. If you want to leave like a little flap or whatever like that, you can. But you do it exactly the same way. Okay, you tie your, your yarn on here, and then you start doing your three double crochets, and then your slip stitch into this one. And your three double crochets, and your slip stitch into this one. And you do that all the way down to the end, to wherever you want to um, fasten off. Do that on both sides, of, and then try it on. Okay. And then, if you want to, which I like to do, just to give it a finish, finished look, is on the on the um, the neck. I like to do a uh, crab stitch all the way around, just to give it a nice finished edge. And then you can do the same on the armhole if you'd like, right? Just to give it a nice nice finished edge. And then your garment is finished. And that is it. Now, if you want to, you can add um, you can add sleeves to this, right? You do you just basically you're doing the same stitch all the way around the armhole in a circle, right? You just do your three double crochets, three double crochets, three, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. You do that all the way around your armhole, right? And you just keep going and keep going and keep going until you get the length of your sleeve. And that's it, right? So that would be, that is Oops, that is your vest sweater. Mm -hmm.